And I would rather you confront, fight, and fail than for you just to settle for the comfort of remaining the same. Change is tough. The world's not going to become easier all of a sudden. No, as you mature, you're going to have more responsibilities, more things that people expect out of you. Truth is, as long as there's breath in your lungs, there's hope in your heart. You can't depend on Nathan's motivation because motivation takes motion, motivation takes movement. And if you depend on outside sources to keep you going, when that outside source goes away, you go back to your default setting too. But if you can find your why, if you can find that thing inside of you, like that motivation, that mojo, that, that internal fire, that thing that pushes you, if you find your why, man, and you find your inspiration that's inside of you, nothing can move you. When sometimes you wake up and you look in the mirror and that person's looking back at you, the real you, a lot of us, we just want to feel like we belong. We just want to fit in. We just want to find the place in this world where we can find our rhythm, where we find purpose. Some of you are compromising who you are because you want to fit into a narrative. You want to fit into a group, into a crowd, into a clique of people. But when you look in the mirror, it's not who you really are, but you're afraid to make the choice and the change and to make real life choices that you know will activate the thing inside of that you're passionate about. I get it's hard for us, some of us, to step into our story, but I, I give you my word, we can do hard things. I truthfully didn't like the fact that I hid behind my anger and my rage. That wasn't really who I was. I may try to convince myself when I'm alone, but there were moments when I would look in the mirror and you would see that spark in your eyes that truthfully, that's not really who you are. I will affirm I know your life has been challenging. And I bet many of you come from broken families and many of you come from unhealthy environments at times and places in your story and things haven't been easy. But you're not a product of those, men. You're a product of what you do. And you can control every space and place that your life goes from this point on. If you come here just to maybe be motivated and if you come here just to be entertained, that's not going to change your life. What changes our lives when we look in the mirror and we decide to say, you know, I'm going to begin to confront me. I'm going to try to be the better parent, the better spouse, the better friend, the better student, just the better human being. Will we take control of what we can control? And that's the things that we do and the choices that we make and how we treat people. And if we can be intentional in those areas, man, life, life can be pretty amazing. When pressure begins to build called life, because life is going to bring you ups and downs and mountains and valleys. And I'm sure some of you in here, your backstory is full of ups and downs and good days and bad days. I bet some of you in here, your backstory is full of a lot more difficulties and some traumas and some things. It's hard for others to comprehend. See, pressure, it can create diamonds or it can bust a pipe. Pressure's not the problem. Listen, to be honest, man, your life, what some of you have experienced the last several years in your life, it's not going to be the most difficult thing that you probably have ever had to face. Maybe for some of you, it's been extremely painful. Maybe you've lost someone close to you of a trauma or an abuse or something really painful has happened. Life is about these ups and these downs, and it's about pressure and insecurities and just challenges. The challenge for you and me is what will we do with the pressure that we're in? Will we allow the pressure to bust the pipe or will we step into uncomfortable, step into our story and to realize the pressure, the challenge, the difficult situation, if I grab a hold of it and take control of what I can control, which is me and my reaction and how I respond, that pressure can become something valuable like a diamond. 
because there's a lot of characteristics and behaviors and habits that we develop. It's not that we set out and we began to have negative thought patterns and we didn't set out to have negative habits. A lot of times we're around certain people and by influence, by the exposure, by the ability of us to be in close to people, we sometimes just pick up tendencies. I'm sure some of you got some friends that say certain phrases or they talk a certain type of way and next thing you know you're kind of saying the same phrase. You're kind of saying the kind same thing tendency and maybe even your mom or your dad are like you sound just like so and so right because we catch up and we catch things from each other and so for me what I caught from my dad when I was a kid it was his coping mechanisms you know like I always say it was the fake face it was the fake smile it was acting like everything's good on the surface but when I was alone and I was looking in the mirror man I was struggling but I was silent I was screaming but I was quiet the truth of the matter is, I got to a place, even though I was in prison, I wasn't going to wait till tomorrow or next semester or next year or whenever I got released to begin my change. Right now, in the middle of my external uncomfortability, I was going to make a stand and I realized hard work works, make good choices, good things happen. There's never a wrong time to do what's right. Hard work and good choices will always create opportunities for your dreams, your plans, the things you've thrown against the wall to begin to be activated. I was in prison. My external situation seemed pretty difficult it was uncomfortable but in the moment I was staying active of talking and communicating and making choices and hard work and good choices will create opportunities in the middle of your chaos in the middle of your storm for me I didn't serve 15 years because I would still be incarcerated until 2024 I've actually been released and been walking and living life and doing this in 2013 see I got released 11 and a half years early what happened is I found the courage in the middle of an uncomfortable situation in a storm that seemed hopeless, to be honest, to not be afraid to face the thing that I was the most afraid of, which was me. Because I promise you, transparency and accountability, using the people around you, but then also realizing that we've got skill in the game, which is called action, which is called choices, and doing our best do the next right thing and treat people the way that we want to be treated. Doors and opportunities will always open in the middle of your store. And I care what you have to say. And I care what your experiences have been. And I care about your journey. Don't lose the ability to know that you're, you are a critical thinker. You have the ability to process, to think, to rationalize, to hear data, and to make conclusions. It's inside of you. Don't settle for anything less than real and authentic.